Kevin, <laughs> I called. And I want to show you my latest toy. Now, you, you know, you've been hiding this from me now. I know. In the last couple the, days, it's been in the trunk of the, <laughs> the Jeep. Uh, this is the new Leica S bracket zero zero seven close bracket. Now the zero zero seven means what? This? It's the previous one was the zero zero six, and they had a previous one before that. Well, let's not go into that. But there's been a bunch <laughs> yes. of them up to this point. This is third generation. Okay. Okay, and. The first one was called the S2, so don't ask. Leica's numbering scheme on this model is a little wonky. Okay, but that's neither here nor there. This is the new S that was introduced, that we saw it at Photokina yeah. in September of 2014. It's now August of 2015, Fifteen. thank you very much. <laughs> you know, as the, the brain cells are the first oh, Yes, I understand. And uh, my understanding is, uh, that, uh, well, this will be online once the embargo is off and the camera has been announced as shipping, uh, which will be at the end of August. So we're seeing a preview. Well, yeah, this is, I've been doing some beta testing uh -huh. for Leica. This, in fact, is not a production, full production body. Uh, I've only recently got firmware one, you know, it was zero mm -hmm. something before this. Um, but uh, nevertheless, I'm not going to discuss image quality because it is a pre-production camera, but I will say it's pretty terrific. <laughs> I, I presume it is. It is great. Now, the thing that is special about this is this is a CMOS sensor. Previous camera was a CCD. And this has live view. So turn the camera on. And first thing that needs to be said about the S is big, brilliant viewfinder. Well, it's just like, you know, there's no difference between... Yeah. <laughs> it's a gorgeous and viewfinder. And it's not an electronic viewfinder. No, no, no. This, so this, this is an SLR. SLR still. Okay. But you press the silver button and you now have live view. Wow. And that's a pretty good live view, too. Look at yeah. that. It's a bright screen. Yeah. Not bad. Oh. Now, it's not articulated, <laughs> no. which is one of my complaints. Um, let me also deal with other complaints, and these will be in my written review. Uh, this camera has always had an extremely simple interface. Four buttons. wonder where they got that from. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, let's be honest. Yeah, they, Phase one introduced this yeah. design. They, the companies actually worked together. I think they together. worked together on this, yes. Um, and I like it. It's very simple. There are no markings. It doesn't even say custom one, custom two. There's just upper left, lower right, and you just have to start memorizing. And when you press it, there are two functions. There's the function that the camera thinks you want because of the current right. mode you're in, and then a second press brings you into a customizable function. So you can set that second press to be any one of a number of different things. Oh, well, that's pretty clever then. So have you, have you set uh, anything yeah. particular? So for example, uh, this upper left button shows you a screen that has all of the different um, all the all the, the display you know, items. The, all the items that are there yeah. and then you press it again and mm -hmm. I've programmed it to be ISO okay okay now the problem is when you go into live view mode it takes on other characteristics okay which can be a little confusing um, one of the new things that they have is this little thumb joystick, this little nubbin, mm. and I've programmed it in live view to be the focus button. So I like to decouple the shutter, and so this can be programmed to be the focus button. Otherwise, it also becomes the scroll through menus button, although you can also scroll through buttons other ways. <sighs> in like our brilliant designers, this thing feels the, like the look was, of it the lines it's just elegant it's looking. so elegant yet it's a little bit counter productive because i want a camera i love for example the pentax 645z yep. z you, I know, you you have that camera. i own one yep. right with six six or seven lenses and it has by count actual count 25 buttons on it but everyone just does one thing and it's obvious what that thing does. So you're accustomed to it. And you get used to it uh, very quickly. And being able to do anything like change focus modes, change metering modes, change shutter release modes. There's a button for that, yep. you know, to coin <laughs> a phrase. Good. Here, 
you have to do menu diving. Okay. And so that's one of my real complaints about this camera. The other is, feel the weight. Oh. <laughs> it's heavy. Yeah. Now, it is what it is. And there are it people... Feels good. It feels wonderful. It feels wonderful. It's it's like the, it's the camera equivalent of an S Class Mercedes, okay? Yep. And that's no bad thing. But it's big, it's heavy, and expensive. And while we're talking of S Class Mercedes, it's not quite that expensive. But the body alone is about twenty five thousand dollars U.S. And this lens, which is a thirty to ninety, is about ten thousand dollars U.S. So I'm holding here thirty five thousand dollars worth of camera. And whether it's worth it for any particular photographer, simply a matter of between you and your financial advisor, <laughs> which well. may be your husband or wife or accountant. <laughs> a good salesman will give you a number of ways to justify the purchase. <laughs> right. But there is absolutely no getting away from the fact that this is a brilliant camera in many ways. Oh, yes, and of course, it's got 4K video. 4K video is the first so, because it's yeah. got the CMOS. 4K video, live view, uh, built like the proverbial brick outhouse, uh, aesthetically wonderful, not quite as terrific when it comes to the user interface as I would like it to be, but I'm very impressed. But this is typical Leica, and you know I have a lot of friends that have Leica cameras that just love these things. Mm -hmm. And I suppose, you know, if you can afford it, it's a great nice camera to have. I mean, Absolutely. And, uh, just I would no not argue that you not buy an S-Class Mercedes if you can afford yeah. one. Wow, good for you. Same thing with this camera. All the cameras, and we'll have a discussion about this, there's a lot of capability going on these days. Anyway, this is a beautiful camera. Yeah, isn't that lovely? And um, it just feels good in your hands. Simple, there's nothing on the back that kind of jumbles up yeah. and you know, you can't, at least this is one camera where I can put my thumb here yep. and I'm not like triggering something off or taking a movie by accident. So yeah, it's a cool camera. Yeah, it's minimalist. Yeah. You know, there's a sort of a, to coin a phrase, a Bauhausian minimalism <laughs> to it. You know, form follows function. And this is absolutely form follows function. Uh, maybe a little too much for some people, but it's impressive. Let me ask you a question though. We've been shooting a lot with the new Sony a7R II, the 42.6 megapixel. Mm -hmm. And I've had the phase one with me. Mm -hmm. And I think both of us over a meal have said somewhere along the line, you know, God, the images are great, but you can really tell it when it comes from a bigger chip. You know, and we're going to have a conversation about this uh, elsewhere, yep. you know, in another video. And people are going to say, ah, Kevin and Michael are full of it. Because on the one hand, they say there's a medium format look. You can see the difference. On the other hand, people are going to hear us say, there isn't much difference anymore between cameras from one inch to APS-C to micro four thirds to, you know, to full frame. Um, so things are not always as straightforward no, as they, they're not. people would like them to <laughs> but be. But there is. Yeah, okay. It just depends about uh, how much of a uh, pixel peeping nitpicker you want to be. Well, there's a lot of those out <laughs> yeah. there. Including us. Yes, well, okay. well, unfortunately we're <laughs> sometimes, probably... Sometimes. Cool. Well, it's a neat camera. Yeah, okay. Anyhow, fun showing it, and see you on the Luminous Landscape.